guys, it is me, Stace. I am back again today with another Friday PIP, which is our Pinterest inspired project. Today we are making a super cute mummy jar. Isn't that fun? Very easy to do as well. All you need is a jar, some gauze, googly eyes, and some glue. The gauze I'm using came in a roll, and I took that roll and I cut it in half. This was actually leftover gauze I had, but if you're using it in a roll, just go ahead and cut the whole roll in half. I'm using a mason jar. We got these from the Dollar General store. You could use a peanut butter jar if you're using a battery operated candle, a recycled jar. I'm going to take my gauze. I'm going to take my hot glue gun and put some glue toward the bottom just to help hold that gauze in place as we roll it around. I'm going to set that in there. Because the jar is rounded at the bottom, it's going to want to have the urge to kind of roll under and the glue kind of helps with that. Just let that sit there for a moment to kind of dry. All right, we're gonna take it and roll it around. Again, I'm gonna put more glue on the bottom. Make it nice and tight. You can see how it's kind of wanting to go down. Really fun and so easy to do. All right, so continue rolling. And I like the rolling effect or the rolled gauze because when you cut it in half, it gets all scruffy, which kind of gives that mummy that look. All right, more glue on this side. I'm gonna kind of go up the jar a little bit more. And I have the straight edge toward the bottom. So you only need the glue around the bottom part. That way it's not gonna curl under. Another little dot of glue right there. And move that one over there. You can just let that glue kind of grab onto that gauze. All right, now we're gonna roll. I'm actually gonna cut off this part here. Okay, get the glue off my fingers. And now, I'm trying to keep the straight edge of the gauze toward the bottom. And I know they also make um, the self-adhesive gauze. You could use that as well. I have like little openings here and there. I'm making it super tight. So all them strings add to the old look. If you want to, you can also take an inker and ink up your gauze. All right, now we're gonna go around the rim. Just take it all the way around until I run out. This wasn't a full roll of gauze when I started it. So I would just take the gauze and work your way up and then cut off the extra pieces. All right, a little bit more hot glue up here to hold that gauze in place. Just watch out for your fingers. And when that dries, we're gonna go ahead and cut this piece, the hangy piece. You could also leave it on there. I think it adds character to it. You can just fold it down. The gauze kind of sticks to itself. And this is the part where my label was. So I want that to be in the back. Okay. All right, so we have that big bunch right there. Now just take your googly eyes and take your hot glue and glue them on. This can also be a ghost. You can cut out a circle in cardstock for a ghost mouth. But really simple and very inexpensive. Like I said, all these things we bought from the dollar store or Dollar General. And there you have it. Isn't that cute? Just take a little battery operated tea light. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the stragglers that go, that's going across the top. Battery operated tea light and plop it in there. You'll have a little mummy luminary or a ghost luminary. And again, if you want to use a real candle, you know, you want to use a real jar. But I like using these, they're inexpensive. I don't, I don't need to worry about them. All right, guys, there you have it. Um, today's Pinterest inspired project. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.